Yeah, you're looking good. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I have a real treat for you today. My shirt might tip you off a little bit. I would have, I would have worn, Rip. I would have worn your shirt, except it's hot here. So you, you know, the kale shirt that I have for mentioned too is long sleeve. He really needs no introduction. Nobody in the family needs an introduction. But in case this is the very first time you're seeing me or him, Rip Esselstyn, and he is one of the first family of plant-based and he has a wonderful opportunity for you to interact with him online this time the plant strong conference is actually going to be online actually i think they did it online last year too it's usually in person but he's going to talk all about how you can register for that and tell you about his fabulous products that he has now he's just up to a lot of wonderful things please welcome rip to the show you are just a busy guy hi aj hey you're, you're really like an entrepreneur. You got a podcast, you got conferences, you got product, what you got books, you, you, you do it all. Well, you know, um, it's funny how things just kind of start to pile themselves on top of each other, you know? And as you know, I mean, you were one of my biggest supporters when I first wrote the Engine 2 Diet book back in 2009. And I was fortunate enough to be, when that came out, the uh, the keynote speaker at that event that the Nelsons uh, did. Can you remember what it was called? Uh, the, uh, the Healthy Lifestyle Expo. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The Healthy Lifestyle Expo. And you and Charles were so wonderful and um, just so supportive of, of me as I was just kind of getting my feet wet in this whole, you know, venture. Um, but yeah, it's, it's incredible to me how the book then led to um, you know, the opportunity for me to become a healthy eating partner with Whole Food Market stores for a decade and um, and then do a food line uh, that was kind of part of Whole Foods portfolio for almost a decade. And over that course of that decade, obviously, I wrote more books. I uh, was fortunate enough to be involved in Forks Over Knives, the documentary, and I uh, had a nice little part in, in that documentary and got to know Brian Wendell pretty well. And what a, you know, what a fantastic, you know, gentleman he is and, you know, the way he really poured his heart and soul into bringing that documentary to life. Um, and I think you probably agree with me, AJ, that documentary did more to move the needle as far as getting people to talk about plant-based and have those conversations than anything up to that point in time. It was phenomenal what it did. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So what do you like doing the most? Being in documentaries, writing books, uh, doing your, now you've got a podcast, you, you produce products, you, you teach live events. I mean, you, you, I guess you should never get bored because you have diversified so much. Uh, hold on. I have, I have my wife. That's like all of a sudden trying to figure out what's going on. Bye. See you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you weren't even married. When I met you, you were not married. Yeah, yes, you were married. That's right. And you just had had your first kid. Yes, yes. I, Cole, Cole had been born. I, I, exactly right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm sorry. So what did you ask me before that? I, well, I said you have your fingers in a lot of pies, but oh, what do you like to do the best? You know, you, well, you know so, so podcasts. I am very much kind of, um, you know, uh, attention deficit disorder, right? In many ways. And so I think that's one of the reasons why I love being a triathlete, right? Is because I could swim, I could run, I could bike. And when I got bored of one, I do the other. And frankly, one of the things I love about the ecosystem that I've created now with Plan Strong, and I got to say, AJ, I have so many phenomenal people that are working with me and involved in every aspect from the podcast to the food line, you know, to, to running the events that I love the balance, right? I mean, the, 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 the beauty is in the balance and I love doing the podcast, you know, you know, you've got your YouTube show, right? I mean, it's, it's fantastic. You know, every, every person that I talk to, I learn something new from um, when, you know, the food line has been Wow. I mean, you talk about something that's hard to do. Try and bring clean, healthy food at a reasonable price to consumers and asking manufacturers to think outside the proverbial box and, and to 
work with our very rigorous nutritional standards, uh, it is challenging. And you talk about what's happened just since COVID hit with the supply chain and prices of grains and oats and uh, and everything and warehousing and trucking. And I mean, you can't think of a more challenging, uh, I think, business uh, to get into. But you know what? We're swinging away. We're doing really, really well. Um, you know, we're now in, we'll be in over 2,200 different stores here uh, starting next month. So that's pretty exciting between Whole Foods and Sprouts and a bunch of banners of Kroger and Publix. Uh, it's pretty darn exciting. And then we also wow. have, yeah. And then we also have our e-commerce channel where we have all of our products available. At, at retail, grocery, we only have our chilies, our stews and our broths available. But at e-com, we've got the cereals, we've got the granolas, we've got the pizza crust kits, the popcorn um, and, uh, and, and all that jazz. And we're constantly innovating and coming up with new products to kind of make this lifestyle that much more accessible and easy for people. And I want to make something very, very clear to you, AJ, and all your listeners is that you don't need any of these products to be successful. And you know that, right? I mean, you can go to any grocery store and make this lifestyle work. This is a nice to have, not a need to have thing that we've created, but for people that are short on time and they're looking for kind of a nice shortcut and they don't have to read labels and they know that, you know what, I can pop this in the oven or pop this in the microwave or pop it in the stovetop. And I can know blindfolded that this is as clean as it gets when it comes to no added oils, low to no added sugar, low sodium, you know, hundred uh, percent plant-based. It doesn't have anything hiding in it like whey or anything like that. So that's pretty darn cool. Um, but so, yeah, so the podcast, the food line, and then, you know, I still, we're still doing the events and, you know, one of the things we brought back to, to life about a year ago were our six day, um, immersion programs, our retreats in black mountain, North Carolina, and in Sedona, Arizona. And we have one, uh, coming up in Sedona, Arizona in the red rock mountains. And that's October 10th to the 15th. And we have about 10 slots available. Um, right now we got about 71 people and we usually shut it off at 80 because we would like to keep it nice and intimate. Uh, and so if anybody's out there and you're interested, you will not regret it. It is transformational. And you can't think of a better place to you know, be transformed than uh, the Red Rocks of, of Sedona, Arizona that has all this magic in the air. Um, and then... You know, we also have our upcoming plant stock event that you are going to be one of the headliners of. Woohoo! I'm what so I'm excited. About. I and never got to be there in person, but I'm excited that it's going to be virtual so many more people will be able to participate. Well, and that's exactly, you know, one of, one of the things that happened with COVID was we decided that if we can't have a live one, let's have a virtual one. And the beauty of a virtual event is that we can bring the price point down so it's incredibly manageable. And now that many more people, as you just said, have access to this event from the comfort of their home. Um, and this year, we really decided to shake things up a little bit and, uh, and do a double dose of food. And I was looking back over my podcast and I have done now about 170 podcasts over four years. Nothing like what you do with your live. You probably done uh, over a thousand. Yeah, I can tell you. You want to know what show number you are, Rip? You yeah. are one thousand one hundred thirty-nine. That is incredible. You are getting. <laughs> I think you figured it out. I think you've gotten pretty good at this. You just got to be willing to work every single day, and it, it's. It, <laughs> you take weekends off, don't you? No, I haven't had a day off since March nineteenth, twenty twenty. But next year, I think I'm going to take one day off a week and and do a pre-record. AJ, you are grinding. You know, I'm, it I'm going for the record. Even when I'm out of the country, like I'll be teaching in Mexico, I, I can broadcast from there. I know I'm going for some kind of record. I don't know what, but, wow. it's, so, but it's, it's like when so, you love what you do, it's not like you're working, though. That's the thing. I get to talk to you for an hour. I mean, how wow. does that work? You know, wow. so. Let, so, yeah. So, OK, so I haven't done a thousand one hundred, but I've done one hundred and seventy ish. And. 
I was looking back and I was like, boy, you know, in the last two years, I've had so many phenomenal chefs on uh, on the podcast. And so this year's plan stock, let's make it all about the food. And let's invite these chefs. We'll give them somewhere around 30 minutes. I want you to know I've exceeded that for you. And we're giving you 50 minutes so you don't have to. Bust. I'm telling you, I'm going to be done in 30. I'm that fast, but I appreciate it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, I, you know. well I, I'd like for you to slow down so we can have a little bit of banter and you know all that. But um, so I would love to run through the lineup if you're cool with that. I would love to hear it. And I want to know how many of these people you've actually had on your show. Oh, it sounds fun. Like all a right. game. So, so let's. Yeah, exactly. So let's start with Jane and Ann Esselstyn. Have they ever been on your show? Oh my God. They've been on twice. They, they, I don't know. If your last name is Esselstyn, you have been on my show because even your two brothers that are, are oh, that, that make furniture right. have been on the show. So I don't think there's anybody out there named Esselstyn that hasn't. Been. And you know, your, your brothers are good looking too. I mean, one of them, boy, I mean, not that the other, I mean, I'm not going to say, but <laughs> you've got a very good looking family. They all came from, you know, Caldwell Esselstyn stock, but th they were fantastic. Jane and Ann together are like the greatest comedy duo since, you know, Lucy and Ethel. And <laughs> they get so many views and they're hilarious. They were recently on and your mom's actually going to be coming back with your dad for a special week on longevity. So yeah, they've been on and they've been on twice. I'd have them on all the time. They're hilarious. Well, you know, Jane and Ann's book just uh, launched. Yep yesterday mm -hmm. right so be a plant-based woman warrior and uh and they're very excited about that obviously um but so got jane, jane and ann and they're going to be cooking up all kinds of great recipes from be a plant-based woman warrior can't wait for that we have you and so <clears throat> do you want to share what you're going to be making in those yes. right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do <coughs> even though um I don't live in the desert anymore. It just seems that August and September are the hottest months for most people wherever they live, at least in the United States. So my talk or my demo is going to be eating without heating. So in other words, I'm going to do the whole class without turning the oven on. That doesn't mean I won't use an instant pot or a blender, but no oven required. And that's oh. kind of the way I roll in the, in the hot summer months. So that's what I'll be doing. So we'll be having, we'll be having some chili. We, we got, oh, you know, you're, I know you love greens. And so we're doing an arugula salad with berries. It's one of my favorites. Oh, so easy oh. to make. So that's the thing. My recipes are that quick, and that's why I get them done so and, fast. So yeah, and you're also doing. So you're doing your best black bean mushroom chili. Yeah, it's with, really with, good. With, with that enlightened fa parmesan topping, you're you're doing a uh, balsamic Dijon um, roasted Brussels sprouts. I Brussels sprouts I have fallen in love with, especially when they're roasted, and so I can't imagine them with a roasted. Uh, with a, with a balsamic dish. You know, that's the one thing I, if for lunch, I had a uh, roasted Brussels sprouts and they're so good. They don't need the glaze, but for people starting out, they may need a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, obviously you said, I love arugula now, you know, ro what's it called in England? Rocket. Uh, rocket. There was rocket. And with a berry salad with a lemon, lemon poppy seed dressing. Um, I don't know about you, but I find the right dressing can really help make uh, any salad or any dish. You're making potato bagels. What in the world are potato okay. bagels? So those are so fun because a lot of people, for whatever reason, don't want to eat bread or gluten. And these, they look exactly like an everything bagel, but they're made out of a Yukon gold potato. And the trick is to, when you buy them, look for one that's, a, you know, about the size of a bagel. They have them and it's round and then it, it, they're, they're incredible. They're better than bagels. <laughs> um, you're doing a dessert date shake. Yeah, or uh, desert desert date shake because de I, when I, I lived in the desert, that was yeah. a big thing to have the shake. Got, and then a vegan pineapple Dole Whip. Yeah, yummy, yummy. That's and then be good. And, and then you put, if I have time, the rustic strawberry tart. Oh, oh, I'll have time. Oh, yeah, we have to, and that that's the cool thing about a dessert like that is it's a it's a dessert you can serve to company and. Yeah. Again, no heating. I mean, you can, if you want, bake the crust for five minutes. It's completely optional, which we may do. But what's nice is to be able to make a dessert that quick that you don't have to put in the oven and heat up the house for. Yeah, yeah. Um, so next we have, do you know who Dave and Steve Flynn are? The happy pair? I, 
Oh, you know what? I have heard of them, but they don't respond to me to come on the show. So maybe you can pull a few strings. I've heard of them though. Okay. They are, they're pretty darn phenomenal. You know, they're identical twins, more than identical twins. They're mirror twins. And uh, which means like one of them is right-handed, one of them is left-handed, one of them is right brain, one of them is left brain. It's the closest thing to being a Siamese twin that you have. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah. I'd and so they're, yeah, the happy pair. And they're making actually a chocolate mousse using two ingredients, water and dark chocolate. That's it? That's it. How That's do you it. do that? that I, 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 don't, I mean, no, no avocado, no tofu? No, I can't wait to see it. And these guys, these guys are crazy good. And they're doing a, uh, a, a curry chickpea uh, dish as well. And then, and then, you know, Juliana he- Heaver, she's mm-hmm. in We used to do a show together called The Chef yes, and the Dietitian. Did. So she's going to be doing um, so, uh, sriracha stuffed mushrooms and uh, vegetarian Noritos. Um, Juliana, have you ever heard of uh, Nisha Melvani? I have not. Tell me about her. Oh, my gosh. So she her uh, Instagram handle is cooking for peanuts. She's got uh, about 550,000 followers. Wow. And so she just she does a really beautiful job with all of her plant-based dishes. Um, And she's going to be using lentils and chickpeas to make mason jar salads that you can then put in the refrigerator and have for, you know, the next day or the next day or the next day. And then I know you know this woman uh, because um, I know you've been to True North and the McDougal a bunch. Oh, Kathy Kathy Fisher. Fisher. I bet. I bet it's Kathy. Kathy Fisher. You know, Kathy is so... Um, so relaxed and so she reminds me of like a librarian, a really like nice librarian. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she uh, she's going to be making a uh, enchilada casserole and a cabbage salad that both both sound and look really delicious. How about, have you had Dr. Columbus Batiste on your show? Oh my God. Not only we host, we host uh, every year for black history month. I actually, he's like the host and I I'm the techie. So yes, I've had him actually, you've had him over for dinner a couple of times. Wow. Wow. Well, you know, you know, he, I think has a cooking class that he does for some of his patients every Thursday night. And um, he's going to be making a Cajun style tofu crumble dirty rice and smothered okra. I've never liked okra. It reminds me too much of eggplant. Do you like okra? Um, I, You know, if it's cooked, I don't like the sliminess, but yeah. you know what, if you grill it or air fry it, it's fine. I just don't like the slimy part. Same thing yeah. with eggplant. If you would try eggplant in an air fryer, you might like it. It's a, got a completely different texture than when it's all mushy. Yeah. And for those that you know don't know, he is a cardiologist uh, with Kaiser Permanente and really just a terrific human being. Um, have you ever heard of Chef Bailey Rus- Ruskus? No, but Bailey's my dog's name, so it's a good name. <laughs> it is a good name. Yeah. Well, she she wrote a cookbook called Cook, Heal, Go Vegan. She's a very young, up-and-coming, um, plant-based chef, and so she's going to be on the show. Um, I don't know what she's going to be making yet, but I'm very excited. How about this guy? Have you ever had Dr. Will Bolshewitz on the on the show? You betcha. He's actually going to cook. He is going to cook. Yes, he's going to cook. But before I tell you the recipes, so can you believe AJ? You know, you and I have been at this for a while, and can you believe how we are constantly learning how how much of the human body can be improved and affected by eating a whole food plant-based diet. Like for example, when we started this, there was no word about the microbiome, about gut health and building a gut garden, right? Nothing. Agreed? No, yeah. I mean, I, never, I mean, I, you never heard that word or angiogenesis or all these words, you know, or yeah. autophagy. I never grew up with those words. No, no. Or like, um, what we're learning now about nitric oxide and, you know, my father's always talked about the green leafies and all that, but um, I had a guy, I'm going to take a little bit of a detour and I'm going to come back to uh, Will Bolshewitz, but have you ever had a guy in your show named Dr. Um, Dr. Uh, God. Uh, oh my gosh. Nathan. Um, Briner. 
uh, Bryant, Dr. Nathan right. Bryant. Yeah, he's know. the nitric oxide guy, right? The nitric oxide guy. Like, can you believe like how much this gentleman knows about nitric oxide? It is phenomenal. And, and, and just to like, you know, do a, a quick review for people, like the fact that every decade we lose about 10%. Um, and so by the time we're 50, we're producing 50% light, less nitric oxide than when we were in our teenage uh, years. And that is so important because that nitric oxide is crucial in, you know, dilating our vessels, keeping them nice and slippery. It's also really important as far as um, fighting off pathogens, especially, you know, now that we're moving through COVID and all this other stuff. Um, and uh, what I learned from him on the podcast, and I'm sure you did, is that antiseptic mouthwash kills the beneficial bacteria in our, you know, oral cavity. Uh, systematic antibiotic use kills the good bacteria. Um, Fluoride-free toothpaste is where you want to go because that fluoride toothpaste that's an antiseptic and a antimicrobial and a neurotoxin act absolutely destroys the beneficial bacteria in our mouths. And then antacids, because, you know, from our mouths, these green leafies and everything, they have to go from nitrates into nitrites, but then in our guts, they got to go from nitrites into nitric oxide. And so if you're taking antacids, right, like Prevacid or something like that, it prevents the conversion from nitrates to nitric oxide. So anyway, I'm just blown in a way, I'm blown away how every year we learn more and more and more. And the Shurzai's, have you had the Shurzai's on your show? Yes, and I actually had their kids on once. They, their kids are like geniuses and they graduated oh. high school like at 10 or something, yep. Totally, but um, the Shurzai's and what they've shown us with Alzheimer's and dementia and brain health and strokes and all that stuff and how you know, really, if you do all these things right, 90% can be prevented. So I'm, I'm just so, anyway, smitten with it all. So back to Will Bolshevitz. He'll be making a mango burrito bowl. Sounds delicious. A lemon lentil salad. And then he had to do a dessert, a peanut butter date cookie dessert. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, we also have, have you had this woman on your show? Because I think she's the hottest thing in the space right now. Carly Bodrug. Yep, absolutely. She's huh? lovely. She's really yeah. lovely, actually. She is. She's like she's like your next door neighbor. And she's just so unassuming and wonderful and kind. And, you know, part of that is because she's Canadian. <laughs> I thought you were say that's because she's vegan. Yeah. No, I love Canadians are amazing. But she'll be making a big old giant salad bowl with a wonderful dressing and then a sunshine scramble. Do you know Sherry Aguirre? Yes, yeah, I've had her on my show. Uh, she's very nice. She is very nice. She wrote a book called Joyful Delicious Vegan. And uh, she's going to be making better than tuna salad and an apple crisp. Do you know Monica Agrawal, cardiologist? I know her very well. All right. Well, your body on fire. Well, we're going to have her making some very anti-inflammatory recipes. How about another Canadian she was very kind. Drina Burton. I love her. Oh, wow. Well, we've got Drina on as well, doing a nut-free ranch dressing and then a uh, nummy brownie bites. Mm. Um, so that's kind of the lineup for now. We, we might have one or two more surprise additions, but uh, yeah. So anybody that's interested, AJ, they should just go to planstrong.com and then just do the pull down menu and you can click on the plant stock event. I'm putting a link in the show notes in the chat. It's right there right now. If people want to just click right now. Wonderful. And, and people are asking, this is online. Absolutely. And the dates are September 9th to 11th, right? Friday, but Saturday, ninth, Sunday. Yeah, 9th to 11th. And, you know, everything is being recorded. So if you can't make every one of them, you will get a, a, a link and then you can watch it at your leisure whenever you want afterwards. Nice. Well, uh, let's see. We have some really nice comments. Uh, Janet says, I love all the Esselstyns. Hey, Monica says, Rip, is there a, maybe a restaurant in your near future, uh, the Plant Strong restaurant? You know what? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I, you know, frankly, I have, I have so much going on right now, as we've talked about. And the thought about doing a restaurant is um, 
it, it overwhelms me. And I mean, yes, you know, if I was kept my distance and uh, I got somebody that I really, you know, loved and trusted to run it like AJ, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, let me ask you, AJ, does a restaurant have any appeal to you? No, because I worked in one and it's very hard. Not that other jobs aren't hard, but it's a different kind of hard because people are hungry and they're waiting and there's expectations, you know? Totally, 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 totally. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, I think I'll leave the restaurants to other people that, you know, have a real burning love and desire for, for restaurants, but I got, I got a full plate right now. Right. Absolutely. But you have that restaurant near you, Casa de Luz, is it? Do you ever go there? Isn't that a pretty healthy restaurant as far as oh, yeah. restaurants yeah. go? We, yes. If anybody wants to, if you come to Austin and you want to eat something that is SOS, right? Salt, oil, sugar-free, go to Casa de Luz. It is the cleanest um, macrobiotic food on the planet. When I say macrobiotic, uh, it's all 100% plant-based, whole food plant-based. And when I go out with family or friends, that's that's where I go, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I do you know Eduardo Longoria? He's going oh, yeah. to be on the show oh, yeah. pretty soon. Oh, good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's wonderful, and he's been doing Costa de Luz now probably since late 1980s, um, and it's really a phenomenal community. You know, you walk through these gates, and there's bamboo and swings, and there's you know a yoga studio and just a couple different, there's a school right next door, but you walk in and all of a sudden everything, just all of your stress just melts away. And, uh, and all the tables are very, you know, they're round and you're invited to just sit down and sit with people you don't know and carry on really delicious conversations. Wow. Yeah. So let me read a nice comment. Uh, she's calling you. Kimberly says, Rippy. Rippy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Carol says, there's a Whole Foods coming to Rochester, New York. Are your foods still in those store? So we do have our foods are in all Whole Foods. We, we are in all Whole Foods stores globally, but only with a few products. And that is our, our white bean chili, our creamy white bean chili our Engine 2 Firehouse Chili, our Thai Carrot Chickpea Stew, uh, our Indian Lentil Stew. And so those are our, our chilies and stews. And then we also have four broths, AJ. We have our slow simmered vegetable broth. We have our um, shiitake mushroom broth. We have our sofrito broth. It's kind of got um, roasted red and green peppers and onions. And then we have a sweet corn broth. You know who is the inspiration for our sweet corn broth right here? No. I'll, I'll show it to you. This right here. Do you ever have Ken Rubin on your show? No, but I'd like to meet him. If you can introduce me, I've heard of him. He's the chef at Ruby, right? The chef at Ruby. You know, he we actually uh, hired him to help us uh, as we were innovating our chilies and stews and our broths. And he was like, Rip, a corn broth is absolutely one of my favorite broths. Any chef that's really worth their salt should be have a big pot of corn broth uh, on uh, on their stove. And so because of him, we developed this corn broth and it is divine. And, and again, all of our all of our broths are salt free, no added sodium, just naturally occurring sodium that's part of the vegetable. So they have like anywhere between 10 to 15 to 20 milligrams per serving. Most brands, 200 to 500 milligrams per serving. And um, we're really, really proud of this line of veggie broths, you know, to kind of help elevate all of your cooking, your grains, your stir fries, all those things. And then our, uh, our chilies and stews, like this one here, AJ, I'll hold one up for you. This is our, our Thai carrot chickpea stew. Uh, this has got the perfect amount of like galangal and lemongrass and kefir, kefir lime and herbs and spices, carrots, uh, jasmine rice, and you put this over like some brown rice, put some shredded spinach or kale on top, and you've got a meal in less than a minute and a half. So everything's quick and easy. And if I'm not mistaken, AJ, I think we're going to be doing a special AJ bundle just for you and your audience. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, I picked a few of the products that really yeah. I thought were perfect for all of my people. I know they're perfect for me. We're going to give you a 10% discount code. It's actually in the show notes now. So if they look 
right underneath the video if they're watching on YouTube. If they're on Facebook, they'll have to go to YouTube to see what's called the show notes and they can just click on the link. But I, I like the idea of having all the soups and stews and chilies. Yeah. And I think that is going to really help people. And you know what's great is because it's not in glass jars. They can they can travel with these. Travel with these. You can um yeah, and 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 they come in these retort containers, antiseptic containers. Yeah, uh, I said aseptic containers. And what's great about them, AJ, is you don't need scissors. You don't need anything. What you do is you just kind of push this up like so. And there's a perforated line right here. And you just tear it open, put it in your bowl, in the microwave for a minute and a half. And you've got a basically a meal. And if you don't like microwaves, you can put it in a stovetop dish. And then these are our, our stews. I told you about the Thai carrot chickpea. But and there's the Indian lentil stew, a kitchery. You ever you ever do kitcheries? I haven't made them, but I've ha had them. I know Darshana when I oh. used to live in L.A. would make things like that. It, it is so just like comfort food. And it, and it was inspired because in India, it's considered like the chicken noodle soup of India when you have kind of a stomach that doesn't feel quite right. Um, but AJ, that's very, very kind of you to um, to create a, uh, a Chef AJ bundle for your audience. And, uh, you know, we were thrilled to, thrilled to do it. Yep. Hey, so the, there's, let me get to some of the questions. They're, sure. they're just being very, very quickly in the chat. But one of the people are saying that your pizza sauce packet needs to be bigger. Really? Well, that's interesting. I, I, I hear you loud and clear. I have, I make these at least once a week and I have found that one packet perfectly it can spread across one pizza perfectly. And I would tell you this, if you feel that it's not the um, not enough for you and you really like a lot of sauce on there, maybe take some barbecue sauce and add a little barbecue sauce uh, to the mix. Um, but thank you for that feedback. Love getting feedback from all of our um, all of our faithful customers. Well, you know, instead of making the uh, sauce bigger, make the crust smaller. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because we are actually right now very close to launching a personal pizza crust that's not 11 inches in diameter, but seven and a half. That's perfect. Yeah, which Love is it. perfect for a single a single serve. Yeah. So Bethany wants to know, I, I think uh, for people, especially maybe that have kidney issues, are any of the plant strong products completely salt free? I mean, there's always going to be sodium in the food, but are some of them completely salt free as well? Well, I don't know about you, um, but uh, I don't know of too many. I don't know of any products, even if you're e even if you're eating, you know, kale or spinach or sweet potatoes, there's sodium in there. Right. Right. And so the only products that we have that have no added sodium are our bras. The bras don't have any added sodium, just naturally occurring that's in the, uh, the onions, the garlic, the, uh, the bell peppers and whatnot. But I'll tell you, like our cereals, the amount of sodium in there, I think there's 20 milligrams of sodium per serving. Um, the popcorn, the popcorn is zero added salt, right? Uh, so if you go online, I know that's not part of your bundle package, AJ, but um, if she's interested, you can go to plantstrongfoods.com and you can see our naked popcorn. It doesn't have oil, doesn't have butter, doesn't have salt. You dress it up however you want. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Nice little, nice little snack that goes when you're watching the movies so you can have that indulgent, uh, snack and know you're 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 going to be healthy at the end of that movie. That's when you're watching Forks Over Knives <laughs> <laughs> or the Game Changers. Absolutely. So Mona says we know that it's September 9th to 11th, and we know that the, the it'll be recorded if people can't watch the whole thing. But in general, when does it go from when to when? Yes. So I think we start on the 9th at about uh, 3 p.m. And we go till about 8 p.m. And then on Saturday, it is 9 a.m. until about 4 p.m. And Sunday is the same, I think about 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Wow, that's busy. And, and those, I could be wrong on some of that. That's just kind of what I'm thinking. But um, that's roughly how the program has been in the past with the virtual plant stocks. 
Nice. Question um, from Colleen. Are you ever going to meet on the farm again and do your event there? You know, that was from Colleen, AJ. Mm -hmm. uh, Colleen, thank you so much for asking. And unfortunately, we outgrew the venue at the farm. You know, the capacity there under the big circus tent was about 575 people. Um, and we just got so popular that we had to move it. And so from 2018 to 19, we moved to Black Mountain, North Carolina, and we had about 800 people there um, in a great venue where people could actually stay on the property that was an old YMCA. And so you could, we actually could, could fit a thousand people if we had to. Um, and that was a lot of fun. And now that we've gone virtual and the accessibility, you know, we'll probably always keep it virtual. But what, what would be interesting, AJ and Colleen, is to do a hybrid where people that want to come could come and they're there live. And then we also have it available for people that, you know, don't want to travel, don't want to spend that kind of money and watch it from the comfort of their home. So all things are possible in the future. That's what I think a lot of people are doing, like Scott Stoll in the Plantrition Conference. They're still meeting in person, but they realize the value yeah. of the virtual, especially for people that, for whatever reason, can't travel or live maybe in a completely different country where it's not as easy. Yep. Yep. Good point. And so with that being said, you know, Colleen, I will say, if we could figure out a nice mix and maybe we cap it at 400 people, we might be able to go back to the farm. I'll have to check with Anna Nessie on that one. That would be very, very cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeannie wants to know, are recipes and foods in the Esselstyn books good for weight loss? Um, absolutely. <laughs> you know, it, it, it follows the whole um, calorie light, nutrient dense, you know, um, philosophy. I will say that, you know, a lot of like, Jane and I did the engine two cookbook. There's, there's desserts in there that if you're trying to lose weight, stay away from the desserts, right? By all means. And uh, those are more kind of entertainment indulgences that you don't want to be doing uh, at every, uh, every day, but, you know, birthdays, holidays, special occasions. Absolutely. But no, for the most part, all of our recipes are calorie, calorie light, nutrient dense, and, um, Will help you lose weight. Nice. Now, Engine Two is no longer a brand, is it? Or do they still sell Engine Two products? So, no. Great question, and I'd love to clear up any potential confusion that's out there. So, while I was with Whole Food Market Stores for ten years, they licensed from me the Engine Two brand, and so it was part of their portfolio of offerings, part of their private label offerings. And that relationship came to a close after a decade in 2020. And my contract was 10 years. And so I had the ability now to take this and do what I wanted with it. And I decided, you know, Engine 2 as a, as a name, it's just a little bit muddy. It's, it's where the origin story, the genesis was from. But, you know, when you have something on the shelf, AJ, you want people to know what it is and what it does in two seconds. And engine two was muddy, a little ambiguous. So that's when I decided, you know what, let's start waving the plant strong banner. And so we pivoted from engine two to plant strong as our brand. So there's no more engine two products anywhere. And if there are, they're old and they need to be thrown away. <laughs> and, Maybe on but, eBay somewhere, somebody's selling one on eBay. huh? Yeah. And I have some old jars of stuff here, just, you know, as memorabilia. Um, but no, everything that we're coming out with now is coming out under the Plant Strong banner. And our goal, our goal, AJ, quite frankly, is online to create a master brand where people can buy, you know, all their breakfast stuff, all their lunch stuff, all their dinner stuff, you know, snacks, everything they need. This incredible portfolio of products to live your best, you know, Plant Strong life. Yeah. Are you the one that coined Plant Strong? I am. I am. I. If you'll notice, if anybody there has the Engine 2 diet book right here, right? I, I, I use the term throughout the book and in my opening, uh, this right here, this opening letter to all my readers, I end it with eat 
playing strong. And um, shortly after running this, I went and I got the trademark for it. Nice. Yeah. And then your dad, your dad should get the tra trademark plant perfect. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. Myra wants to know if your box chilies, if they're spicy or how spicy they are. So wonderful question. I'll tell you this. The firehouse chili has the perfect amount of kick. I don't, again, I live in Texas, but I don't consider this to be too spicy whatsoever, but it's got a little bit of kick. So I would say it's light to medium kick. The white bean chili, no kick, no kick whatsoever. It's creamy white bean. It's got cauliflower in it. Uh, it's got hominy in it. It's got all kinds of, you know, herb spices, onions, garlic. Um, it is, it is dynamite. And this goes, pairs so nicely over potatoes or brown rice, which I know you love, AJ. I love potatoes, especially sweet potatoes. Do you have a favorite sweet potato, Rip? <laughs> um, yeah, just a nice orange one. What are those called? Just, I think they're garnet, garnet yams, maybe? Maybe garnet yams. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you that, you know, it's the... Uh, it's the purple Okinawan, you know, sweet potato, or it's the white one that originates from, you know, Bangla Bangladesh. No, yeah. oh, but I love the white ones. They're so creamy. That's what I had for lunch. But, uh, but uh, it, there's no bad sweet potato. So Karen says she has the firehouse chili. She has the sofrita broth and the regular broth. Nice. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Dawn says, I miss your spaghetti sauce that was low in sodium. Well, you know what? <clears throat> We are this close from launching um, a chunky and a smooth pasta sauce. So hang on. And if everything goes right with our manufacturer, we should have those available by the end of this year. And even if people don't live near a store that sells your product, and I'm so happy that you're going to be in Sprouts because we don't have Whole Foods near us. Sprouts is just two miles away. It's all, everything can be purchased online. Everything, everything can be purchased. You just, again, plantstrongfoods.com. You know, this is the beauty of the silver lining with COVID is that direct to consumer is now a thing. People trust it. It's easy to do. And, you know, you can order it and literally have it at your doorstep within a couple of days. Great. Yeah, right. very easy. So we have, I saw a question here. I don't think I understand this from Dee Dee. Ask Rip if he still runs the podcast sometimes. I mean, you host it. I'm not sure what he means by runs it. Oh, I def, I mean, you know, um, yeah, I, <laughs> like you, I host every one of my podcasts. Um, obviously, I have a producer that helps me um, coordinate everything with logistics and, um, you know, all, everything with the show notes and the transcripts um and pickups but no i um yeah i'm not quite sure what she means either yeah and there's a question does your chili have added salt or just the sodium that's in the the, the chili no so uh the engine two firehouse chili has they're both lightly salted the engine two firehouse chili has 180 milligrams of sodium per serving and there's 180 calories per serving so it's in that one to one you know guideline and then our white bean is uh, 260 milligrams per 170 calories. So that one's a little bit higher. But if you look, if you look at this category that is just notorious for being elevated in sodium, we are literally three to four times lower in sodium than just about anybody else on the shelf. A lot of people are saying they miss the oil-free hummus, but that was a perishable product. All the products you have can be easily shipped because they're not perishable. Yeah, that's one of the things, you know, when you're when you're developing new products, um, they have to be e-commerce friendly, which means they have to have good shelf life. They have to be, you know, they have to be able to live in an ambient temperature, not refrigerated or frozen. Um, and so but I tell you this, we are looking at hummuses in packaging that doesn't have to be refrigerated. It's this really trick new technology. And so that's not definitely not off the table. Or what about like dehydrating or freeze drying it so that people just add like water or lemon juice at home? And there's that as well. We, we've explored all this stuff. 
Uh, we've explore, explored a just add water hummus. The response from our survey to customers was not the greatest, right? Yes. It's just a, it's again, what we, it's incredible what you discover. People are just inherently, for the most part, they're kind of lazy and, you know, they don't want to take an added step if they don't have to. Not everybody, but a lot of people. And, uh, and so we're still looking at this technology and actually Delta uh, Airlines uses it where you can put a hummus in uh, a little one of these like applesauce containers, you open up the lid and it can live in that thing for like, I think it's a year uh, without any preservatives or anything like that. Amazing what technology can do. Dawn says she loves your popcorn. She eats it when watching a movie. She puts fresh herbs on it. And Colleen says, yes, um, she will come to the farm. <laughs> Colleen. All right, we'll get you a front row seat. Nice. Okay, so people are asking if are your products available anywhere other than the Plant Strong website, like on Amazon, for yeah. example. No, you know what? We're not available on Amazon yet. Um, we're holding off on that for just a little bit longer. But I will tell you, you know, uh, if you go to um, PlantStrongFoods.com or PlantStrong.com, you can see all the different retailers that we're in. Um, and it's becoming very, very, um, very vast. That's amazing. But I again, love. but again, that's just for the chilies, the stews and the broths. For everything else, the your only option is to order it through us uh, on our on our e-commerce site, Plant Strong Foods. How many different products do you have now? 18, 18 different SKUs. So just, you know, for, for people that don't know that lingo. So like we have two chilies, each one of these is considered a SQU, a SKU. So with our cereals, our granolas, our broths, our chilies, our stews, our cereals and our popcorn, we've got 18. And by the end of this year, our fingers crossed, we're going to have another 18. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have a minor complaint here from Dawn. She loves your date and raisin cereal, but the raisins are pretty hard. Maybe some softer raisins. Yeah, we're definitely looking into that. And, um, you know, it's a challenge when you put... A, these dates, these raisins, they're so wonderfully moist, but then you put them in the bag with these wheat flakes and other cereals, and there's this hydroscopic conversion that happens where the flakes actually draw moisture from the raisins or the dates. And so we're really trying to get a handle on that. So I would just say to everybody out there listening, if you've tried the, the granola or specifically the Rips Big Bowl cereals, and you've gotten something that's harder than you like, please be patient with us. We are doing everything we can to figure it out and um, so that you get a nice moist raisin and date. Very nice. Nobody likes a dried date, a dried up date. <laughs> no, no. Oh, here's a great question from Bethany. Tell us, please, what was it like filming Game Changers and your results were, uh, the, were the highlight of the film? Oh, who was that from? From Bethany. Bethany, th thank you very much. You know, the whole, that whole Game Changers project was so incredibly, mm, it was, it was exciting. And, you know, James Wilkes, who's the producer, he asked me if I would get involved back in 2013. I came on board as an executive producer. I was an investor. I helped, you know, give him some money. And then um, in about 2016, 17, you know, we brought in James Cameron as another executive producer. James came in also as uh, with some money. Um, and uh, once you have James Cameron, that's, you know, kind of on the, on the ticket, it's a lot easier to bring in the capital you need. And keep in mind this documentary, they flew all over the world to make this happen. Louis Sahoyas, the director, you know, he runs a really tight ship and he does things just right. So the budget was very, very high. And it took, I mean, it took like 2013 to 2019 for it to come out, but it was worth the wait, as you guys know. Uh, filming with those New York City firefighters was an absolute blast. I love firefighters. I love how authentic they are, how real they are. 
And this is a group, a demographic of, of men and women that need this as much, if not more than anyone. And as everybody probably knows, and I've said this a jillion times, but the number one cause of in the line of duty deaths for firefighters is heart attacks. And so these guys and gals, instead of eating steak and bacon and, you know, cream cheese and butter and all this stuff, they, not, they need to start eating steel cut oats and creamy white bean chilies and beef, I'm sorry, uh, portobello mushroom fajitas and all these wonderful, delicious things and know that they're not going to lose an inch in their performance as firefighters are going to gain gain an inch and lose a few inches on their waistlines. So, um, and, the, and the results that we got, AJ, were phenomenal. You know, we had 35 guys that did the seven day rescue challenge and the average weight loss was six and a half pounds. The average drop in cholesterol was 25 points. We had one guy that dropped 107 points in his total cholesterol. Everybody dropped their blood pressures. They were feeling great, looking fantastic. So it was a complete home run. And um, I'm so glad that we were able to get that as part of the game changers. Uh, do you ever miss your firefighting days? All the time, all the time. I miss, I miss, you know, well, I'll tell you what I miss. I miss the guys I, and gals at the fire station. I miss the calls. I miss those, you know, 911 emergency calls you know, going on good deeds, you know, helping people, saving lives. I miss that. Um, yeah, I just, I, I really miss the culture. I miss the schedule. It was 24 on 48 off. And I'm telling you, it was, it was beautiful. And what I really miss is, but I wouldn't trade it. That was when my life was so much more simple and I would go to work for 24 hours. I get off and I didn't have a care in the world. I was like, okay, what do I want to do? To, I want to go for a bike ride. I want to go for a swim. I want to go for a hike. I, you know, I want to go read this book. As you know now, J AJ, you know, I've got my hand in all these different, you know, pies from the podcast to the food line to, you know, events. And my, I can't ever turn off my brain from the work. And that's what I probably miss the most about firefighting is just the simplicity of being a firefighter. And that's what I was. And now could, I'm, I'm a lot more. Back? What? Could you go back maybe just one day a week? <laughs> that does, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. But I like the way you're thinking. But I go back. I go back and, you know, visit with the guys at the station. And, you know, um, that's always fun. That is, you know, a, a female firefighter who's the only one that eats this way at her station contacted me. And now I'm just remembering she wanted me to contact you if you would like talk to them because they just, I guess they make fun of her and they don't, you know. Well, of course they do. And in fact, you know, when I was, after I wrote the Engine 2 Diet book, a lot of Austin, Texas firefighters, uh, they started eating. They went plant strong. And I had one, one woman who told me that she was vegan and she got she get this is before my book came out and everything, but she said she got harassed more about the way she ate than for being a woman. And this is back in 2007, 2008, when, you know, things weren't quite as proper as they are now, right? And women weren't really accepted in the fire department. And if you were a woman, most firefighters did not make you feel welcome. That has changed. That culture has changed. That dynamic has changed. But back then, it was not a very friendly female culture. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, somebody named. What's your name? Uh, Desiree just ordered the bundle. Thank you for the opportunity to try these products. Guys, I'm putting a link in so you can try them for 10% off a Chef AJ approved bundle. And oh, uh, Anne says, Rip, are your products available in Canada or will be they will they be available in Canada? So they're actually currently available to be shipped to Canada, but unfortunately, the shipping cost sometimes is is exorbitant and almost prohibitive. But you can go on, uh, go on our website uh, and plug it all in and see how much the shipping cost is and then decide if it's worth it or not. Um, but we've, we've been shipping to Canada now for about six months. 
Nice. Linda Middlesworth is saying your lasagna is the bomb. Wouldn't that be cool if that was one of your products, your raise the roof lasagna? Linda, tell Linda I say hi. Linda's wonderful. Yeah, the, she. That's why we, I moved near her just to be near her. She's the, the. She's like you're like plant-based royalty in Texas. She's the plant-based royalty in Sacramento. Yeah, absolutely. And her son is her son is wonderful as well. Yep, V Dog. Are you, any any more books in your future? There's always a book in your future, right? Uh, I'll never say never, but right now, uh, not in busy. the near future. Yeah. Well, what about you? I mean, you 10th anniversary. Yeah, I got, oh my God. I, <laughs> what did I just, you do? I, th- I committed to three. I got, I, you know, I always self-published my books because it was so easy. You didn't have a master telling you what to do or when to do it. But I figured, you know what? I, you know, I'm doing okay. I can, you know, go the regular route and boy, they're like little slave drivers. So I committed to three in three years. So three books. In three years, I know. And I'm writing a book with a plant-based doctor, so I don't know what I'm doing. But you know what? It's like, it, it, the busier you are, I, it's just, life is too short to to not be busy, I think. I just, it, it's boring if you're not doing a bunch of things. That's where right. we're very much alike. No, I will tell you this, that it is, it's fun to be busy, but it's also very important that you know how to rest and how to relax and how to actually take a vacation. AJ, can I share the vacation that I went on? Yes, please. So, so I have three children, Hope, who's eight, Sophie, who is 13, and Cole, who's 15. And last year, we sent Cole and Sophie to a canoe camp in the Boundary Waters. It was a YMCA canoe camp in the Boundary Waters. And they came back and they were so excited about this trip that they did that they asked if we could, as a family, go up into the Boundary Waters and do a canoe trip. And my wife and I were like, absolutely. And so there's these outfitters there and you just show up. Well, you have to actually have a reservation, but they will get you completely outfitted with your canoes, with your backpacks, with your tents, your sleeping bags, your pads, all your cooking uh, cooking gear. We said, don't worry about the food. We got that covered. And it was, Six days, five nights in the most unchartered, uncivilized, pristine waters that I have been in, really, not in my lifetime, because I did something similar when I was in eighth grade, but it was phenomenal. And it was so great to be with just the family, no distractions, no screens, no work. And I highly recommend if anybody's looking for a great getaway, go to the Boundary Waters uh, in, in, and you can get started in Ely, Minnesota. That sounds wonderful. Ah. Colleen says, Rip, don't worry. You're still saving lives just in a different way. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, my, my brother-in-law was a fire captain. And he said like their number one call was like getting people off the toilet. Well, I, that's funny because, you know, I, I was a firefighter for 12 years and I think we made, I made thousands and thousands of calls in my 12 years. And I can honestly say not one of them was having to get somebody off a toilet. Um, (laughs) Now we we did make some, and I, you know, this is a little bit morbid, but we did make some dead people in bathrooms, but never somebody that was alive that was on the toilet that needed to get off. (laughs) (laughs) Well, if they ate plants strong, they wouldn't be on the toilet so long. This is very, very true. Very. What would you say is the average time that you're on the toilet? Oh, I don't know. I use a squatty potty, so I'm, I'm, I'm in and out now. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm like one of those goats. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know? Uh, it, 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 it's true. I would say, yeah, I'm less than thirty seconds totally. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. I'm a super pooper. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm curious, which of your products are your family's favorites? Well. I can tell you that Anne will call me up and say, oh, Rip, Essie and I just had your firehouse chili tonight and can't believe how good it is. Or we just had your Thai, uh, your, your, um, let me see here. Where, where, oh, here, yeah. Your Thai carrot chickpea stew. And we just cannot believe how good this was over rice. Um, And then Essie loves the big bowl cereals. He's like me. He likes to have a little snack about an hour after dinner. And so we both, it's we have a little bowl with bananas on top, with some oat milk, 
and that's our kind of like um, post post dinner snack, um, pre bedtime snack. And uh, I would say those are the, their favorites. You know, my mom is loving using the broth to cook with now. Specifically, she loves the shiitake mushroom broth. Um, but they love they they now when my mom doesn't feel like cooking, she says that those chilies and stews are just lifesavers. That yeah, they're, they're oh. great, and and the shelf life's pretty good. Two years. That's really good. So if we, have, yeah. if we have another pandemic, we're good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, load up your load up your pantries, but no, but you're. I mean, I think that the bundle that you put together is is right on, and it would be Anne and Essie approved. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Yeah. So so um, Apple saying products only in the U.S. Rip said that if you can afford the shipping, they will ship to Canada. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's too bad they can't be everywhere. Well, Rip, I'm really excited about the uh, plant strong. Uh, plant stock. Plant stock. Well, it is plant strong, but it is plant <laughs> stock. Yeah. Everything starts with plant with you. What's going on? But it's going to be great. And uh, yeah, the only thing that's that's not as ideal as the virtual ones is I love like in your in-person ones, we could buy all the t-shirts, all the bags, all the cool, all the cool swag you sold. The swag. I know. I know. Um, you know, we got to let th- some things go, I guess. Yeah. Lisa said, I've heard about the famous Rip lasagna. Where can I find the recipe? That would be in your first book, your engine two cookbook, right? The first book. I think we also have just because it's so popular that, uh, the engine to, um, raise the roof, sweet potato lasagna, which you and I need to have a contest. I know we do my disappearing. If we're ever together in person, we've got to get like three celebrity judges that maybe don't even know us. And you make the raise the roof. I'll make the disappearing. And we'll, and we'll put this to rest once and for all. Once and for all. But you're right. That wasn't the engine two uh, engine two diet. Yeah. T says, I'm really looking forward to plant stock of all six Esselstyn's, which one's the most competitive? Uh, that's an easy one. Do you know who? Well, it's gotta be you or Jane. I mean, I, or I think I'm no, guessing. No. Then it's, it's your mom. It's Anne. It's yeah. Anne. Oh my God. That's funny. No, she, she won't say that she is, but she is a tiger. She absolutely is. Yep. Are any of your kids into swimming? Iris like to know. Uh, Yes, absolutely. So Cole is 15 and he swims on a swim program. It's very close to the house. And if things go well, he'd like to swim in college as well. We'll see. Um, My youngest hope is probably the most incredible athlete in the family. And uh, and she is swimming now with a, a, a swimming program as well. And then my middle daughter, Sophie, is she swims on the summer league team in our neighborhood, but she does not swim year round like uh, Cole and and Sophie. Sophie likes experimenting with everything from acting, from cross country to um, to basketball to um, soccer. Yeah, that's great. Well, Rip, I'm so proud of you. What you've become in the plant based world and in the world. I mean, you know, you're you're an Esselstyn. What can I tell you? Well, you guys do great things. Right back at you, AJ. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of. Oh, do crazy. you remember that? So- I can't even remember. Your, I, I remember a song I wrote a long time ago. Oh my I'm gosh. No, I didn't even prepare, but. Oh my God. No, it's I, plant strong. Let's get plant strong. Yeah. It's the cool and modern way to eat plant strong. Let's get plant strong with the guys from engine two blue, blue. Yeah. That's right. No, 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 no. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Something I like think that. I, I think I had version where Esselstons meet the Esselstons. The Esselstons. They're a really skinny family from the town of Cleveland. Mm. You will not believe how much they eat. <laughs> One day, oh my God, I can't even remember. But it was so funny when I made it no. up. But and you we're are gonna get so... a copyright strike now because we just used a melody. But whatever. And you are so phenomenal at writing these songs on the fly yeah it's fun yeah um you're very talented aj 
I have multi of talented. Thank you. But this is my favorite thing is to talk to people like you. So thanks so much for the bundle, for offering a discount, for making the Plant Strong Conference really so affordable that really just about anybody can afford those three days. It's such it's so reasonably priced for a virtual event that's especially one that's three days. Yeah. Um, well, thank you. And thank you for participating and being one of our headliners, AJ. Um well, thanks we, for asking me. It's yeah. about damn time. No, just kidding. We we love you. And, um, you know, you keep it plant strong. That's right. Thanks so much, Rip. It was such a pleasure spending this hour with you. Bye. Take care. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow when my guest is Carrie Wordleman. She created a product called Vegify. And what it is, is these veggie crumbles. And she's going to be making recipes with them. There's carrot, there's beet, there's, I don't know, there's a bunch of them. I got so many. You might like these, Rip. Cauliflower. It's basically just vegetables and they're crunchy and there's nothing on them. And you can cook with them and bake with them and put them on salads. And it's pretty cool. That's super exciting. Yeah. So check it out. <laughs> I, I will. I'll talk to her. <laughs> Absolutely. Take care. Bye, Rip.